Hey, um, before I get onto the main point of this video, I'm going to share an experience that I've just had because I want to. I feel like it. Um, I live alone in this house, and um, who better to tell than my dear subscribers? So I, I was uploading the video, which I'm just about to do. I'm about to talk about the subject again, and literally about three minutes into it, uh, I had a blackout. The light above me just went, and it was bit creepy actually because I spent the last few hours looking at top fives of um, you know paranormal photographs and that sort of thing it was a bit creepy so hopefully that won't happen I think it's just this light um, yeah well okay so to the point um, I want to talk about discrimination and I want to talk about um, a case that's just been uh, reported and why I feel that there is um, blatant double standards around some of those who are weighing into the argument. So uh, the theatre, movie theatre, is at Alamo Drafthouse Cinema in Texas. Uh, I'm not sure specifically which city this is based in. Um, Dallas um, might be. It's either Dallas or Fort Worth or somewhere around that part of Texas. Anyway... Um, it's a bit of controversy because they had a screening this week of Wonder Woman, the Marvel Comics um, film. And uh, it's controversial because they specifically stated that it would be, it would be a women-only event. And I had a sign-up to that effect. Um, so basically they... Um, yeah, they, they have faced a bit of a backlash, mostly from men, it has to be said. But um, I weighed in on it and uh, I, I looked at the, the website itself so that I got primary information and indeed it was a women's only night, women only night. Um, here's why it's a problem. Well, actually, I'll just count some of the sort of rebuttals from those who are defending the cinema's decision. They say it's only one night, so why make a big deal out of it? Well, it may only be one night, but discrimination is wrong whether it's one night of the year or the whole year. Um, you know, this may well be inconveniencing people if they've planned to go on this particular night, if they have, maybe they're going to go with friends, maybe, you know, the girlfriend, and then they arrive at the cinema and they're told, oh, sorry, you're a bloke, you can't come in. I think it's wrong. Simple as that. Um, you can imagine the outcry. If, let's say, you had a film like, let's say, a Rocky film, or um, a film that would be deemed to be a bit more of a masculine uh, orientation, you know, a, a man's film, for want of a better term. Uh, and there was a sign saying no women allowed. So let's say you had a boxing movie and the sign out said, said no women allowed. That would be, uh, there'd be an outcry. And rightly so, because it would be discrimination. Um, so anyway, I left my views on this very candidly, as I always am, um, on their on their Facebook page. I take the view that public services, um, you know, when they take decisions like this, they they need to take the heat that follows. If they're going to discriminate against people, there is going to be a backlash. So I basically wrote, you deserve profit loss after your blatantly sexist policy. I've never heard of this chain until reading about your anti-male discrimination in a British newspaper. So you should know you're becoming known uh, for the wrong reasons. It's bad PR. And that's absolutely, I stand by that. I do think that when companies pull things like this, they do, they should get a bit of a backlash. Um, anyway, I had three rebuttals. And I'm going to read them out because it's rather amusing. I've read my comment exactly as I wrote. These are the rebuttals. Jennifer Tucker. Yep, yeah, that's right. No men are ever allowed to go to the Alamo Draft House. It's just as you say. Clear sarcasm in her voice there. Michael Ashley Trundle. I totally have to do the tuck and trick the Alamo gender place to get in. It's so unfair. When are us men finally going to get a break? More sarcasm. Because, of course, sarcasm is the best way to deal with, uh, you know, uh, contentious point. Personally, I think it's a bit childish, but there you have it. Um, but this is a classic. Jason Dykes. Considering that Britain still has a shitload of men-only golf courses, maybe you should take your outrage to one of them, a wanker. 
So clearly my comment has got under Jason Dyke's skin. Um, well, firstly, about the UK, I don't, I don't go to golf courses myself. I don't know how true that is, but the fact of the matter is this country is anything but a patriarchy right now. Pretty much all of our leaders are women at this particular time, with one or two exceptions. Um, so this guy not only has made an ad hominem attack on me, but he misjudges my country. There you have it. Um, so I I, uh, I challenge all three points of view. The first two were basically being sarcastic, which is a childish way to, you know, debate with someone. And um, Jason Dykes is just attacking me on a personal basis because he doesn't like what I have to say. Apparently, I'm a wanker for, uh, you know, saying that I'm against discrimination. So those three basically, to me, sum up the mentality of uh, obnoxious, self-righteous progressives who think that there's nothing wrong with this. Now, the same people, I have no doubt, would be up in arms if it was reversed. So here's the thing. It may only be one night. Um, people might not think it's a big deal. But if it's not tolerated with any other group, why, why should it'd be okay to say that men aren't allowed there. You know, imagine the outcry if there was a sign saying no blacks, no Hispanics, or no women for that matter. It's simply, it's bullshit. And it does frustrate me a little bit that so-called progressives, who, by the way, are nothing of the sort. Um, I don't even like the term progressive. I think it's misleading um, because it gives them a mantle of moral supremacy, and it really isn't. No discrimination is ever progressive. I mean, you know, when a business is open to the public, they cannot say a certain type of person cannot come in. The only exception I would make is, say, for example, you have a, a convenience store and they're constantly getting robbed um, by teenagers with hoods on and they had a sign saying, you know, teenagers need to bring down their hoods or something like that. Those sort of things are practical. I've no issue with that. But I've never, ever been a fan of any sort of discrimination at all. And I've been totally consistent with this, which is what sets those of my opinion, those of my school of thought, not that it belongs to me, but genuine egalitarians apart from progressives who think that they're egalitarian, but really they, you, you know, it's just nonsensical to argue that you progress one group by discriminating against another. So I suppose the rationale that they're making is, uh, this is Wonder Woman, you know, it's all about women's empowerment. Um, I, I must admit, I don't follow the Marvel Comics universe closely. So, you know, I, I can't call myself a big fan or anything like that. But it's not about what sort of film it is. It's about the fact it's happening at all. If this was any other film, it would be equally wrong. Um, there have been quite a number of comments on their page saying that they'll no longer go to this um, venue because it's sexist but in the end of the day to those people who are defending it I would say will would you have the same attitude if this was anyone else no you wouldn't so if that's your position you're a hypocrite but that's the thing progressives uh, think they have a green light to be hypocritical as long as they're waving the flag of uh, moral supremacy and to be honest it's a little bit pathetic um so I think that um, surely there's some laws against this, that as a public business, surely they shouldn't be allowed to discriminate. One night or not, uh, it may be inconveniencing people. It may be um, that people wanted to go on this particular night. And it's just, it's wrong. Simple as that. So to all the feminists and progressive arts out there who think this is okay, um, I like to see your tune when uh, tables turned are turned. Um, because time and time and time again, you just show your utter hypocrisy, quite honestly. I do sometimes wonder to venues like this that, that do these things, are they doing it? Because they almost enjoy negative publicity, almost like they want to shit stir. I sometimes wonder about that. Um, it's like these people who say there's no such thing as being racist against white people. Bullshit, there is. If you're racist, you're racist. If you're sexist, you're sexist. And I believe very, very, very strongly that if someone claims that they're against racism or sexism or homophobia or any other form of bigotry, you have to be consistent on it. You can't claim that you're against se sexism and then you're OK with anti-male sexism or you're against racism and you're OK with anti-white uh, racism. 
or any other form of bigotry. And I'm only using those examples because they do tend to be the examples whereby people think it's okay. What I'm saying is it's not okay. Consistency is the issue here. Anyway, I'll wrap it up there and let me know your thoughts. Um, I have to say the other comments are positive. They're suggesting the, the venue is very welcoming and they do a good range of films and so on. But, you know, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. And my first perception is, okay, will they discriminate against men? One night or otherwise, it's wrong. Simple as that. All it does is divide people and it's bullshit. Okay, let me know your thoughts and thank you for watching.